After Shutterbug, can you think you take a pretty good photo, you might want to consider entering the In Focus Photo Exhibit and Awards. This is the sixth year that both professional and amateur photographers from across the country have the opportunity to have their photos curated and then exhibited for thousands of travelers at the Renaissance Airport Hotel. Alexis Marie Chute is curator of the In Focus Photo Exhibit and Awards and joins us now. Good afternoon, Alexis. Oh, thanks for having me. So why do you feel it's important to showcase the work of local photographers? Oh my goodness, we need to realize how creative we are here and also inspire each other. I think that's something that when you're a visual artist, like a photographer, seeing other work, being exposed to new kinds of photography, subject matter styles, mm -hmm. it's really exciting and it can give you new ideas and new inspiration. Yeah, is this the kind of thing that you wish was around when you were starting out as a photographer? Oh, absolutely. I feel like I learned to get at my photography out there in the school of hard knocks. It was like <laughs> I had to be banging on doors and submitting as much as I could and it took a long time. I've been a photographer for almost two decades, which makes me sound old, but it just, it was this endurance marathon and I really want to help other people get to where I am further and faster. You know, I'm wondering too, just because I feel like it's something that everybody thinks they can do really well, like take an amazing photo. Everyone's got a camera. Everyone yep. is snapping pictures everywhere. Does that make it harder for you because of, you know, the advances in technology now? I think it makes it easier in some ways because we now have such a proliferation plur 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 <laughs> of images that people are able to look at imagery and say like, okay, this stands out or doesn't stand out for X, Y, and Z reasons. We're becoming very visually literate. Everyone thinks they're a photographer and, and this is why I really challenge people to submit to in focus we have a different theme every year so maybe it's something they haven't created yet and it's an opportunity to push themselves and see what they can come up with what are you looking for as far as submissions go so our theme for this year is change we have a different theme every year which we uh, ask photographers to think about loosely so this year is change how is our world changing how are we as people changing how is the way we interact with each other changing and how is photography changing? We've come a long way. I learned back in the dark room, I processed my own film, I developed my own pictures, and we, ha we all have a phone in our pocket now, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so how, how are we changing as humans? Yeah, that's a, a neat topic because it can be so many things, mm -hmm. it's so wide, right? So I'm sure you're expecting all kinds of things. Yeah, well, I think we keep a, a broad topic so that we can welcome portraiture, landscape images, abstract photography, even things that are outside the box, you know, outside of the square of the photograph framed on the wall. Mm -hmm. We welcome photographic in interpretations of all kinds. How do photographers submit their work? Yeah, so you just go to infocusphoto.ca and one submission consists of one to three photographs. You can submit as many times as you want. And we ask for a little bio, so tell us, uh, telling us a little bit about who you are, and a CV, which basically means what have you done with your photographic work in, mm -hmm. in the time that you've been doing it. Are there entry fees for that? Yeah, we do. I'm not a numbers person. I think it's $35. And the fee that goes towards that is basically just to help us run the exhibition. My husband and I have done this for, uh, like you said, six years, and it's mm -hmm. our labor of love. We volunteer so many hours and we're so passionate about it. So yeah, we love to welcome other people into the collaborate, collaborative process. Can you, I don't know if any particular photos stand out for you, but submissions that have been successful, mm -hmm. uh, can you give us an example of one or two? Yeah, so I think that it's where there's a story being told, something bigger than just a beautiful picture. Like you said, we all have our photography, you know, in our pockets and we, everybody's a photographer, but it's when someone can look at the world differently. So maybe it's not just a cool street photo, but it's a street photo that tells a story about the people on that street. Mm -hmm. It's a landscape photograph that you can tell somebody waited until the sun was just at the right peak in the sky or just dipping at the right, uh, spot in the horizon it's where there's an extra effort there's the next level of thought that goes into the photographs mm -hmm. that's what really sets them apart okay 
What are some of the awards and honors for the winning photographers? Yeah, so we have a plethora of different awards. We're still working on different ways we can even support photographers for this next year, but we for sure have a, a a People's Choice Award, which is sponsored by VizTech right here in Edmonton. And we have the award plaque printed by Technicare here in Edmonton. And for the, another way we try to help photographers is Technicare, who's, they have, they print amazing photographs. They, they I have many in my own home, yeah. <laughs> awesome, yeah, so you, so you know them. But they give discounts and support um, for helping photographers know, should I print on metal? Should I print on glossy paper? What kind of frame would look great? Mm -hmm. So they're like a really great community partner on this. Yeah. What kind of doors has opened for some of the photographers who've been highlighted in the exhibition? Oh my goodness. I really want this to be a launching off point and I, I am so grateful when I see that happen. We've had some of our past photographers published in Black and White magazine, which is a really big photography magazine. And so even like a, a really recent success story we've had, we uh, exhibited work by Liam McKenzie, who's a Nate photographic grad. Um, and he is, if you look in the current Avenue magazine right now, his mm -hmm. photographs are there. Um, we have people getting into exhibitions and publications. It just, in focus, opens doors, and that's the goal. And so I'm always so excited when we have success stories, and there's so many. I, I can list so many. <laughs> if people really fall in love with some of these photos, are they for sale or simply just for exhibit? No, they are for sale, and we really encourage... Uh, people who come, if you love a photo, you're supporting that photographer. The money goes into their pockets. Um, it's it's one way that you encourage creativity to keep happening and people to keep going out there. And it's cool when you know the story behind uh, the artwork as well. And we have an opening party um, at the beginning of the exhibition that runs February and March, so two months. Um, so you can come out and meet many of the photographers and hear the story that goes behind the image. Okay, so again, uh, submission deadline. Submission deadline, so we have passed our early deadline. So our regular deadline is October 21st, and if you are procrastinating or something we do have an extended deadline but we love it if people could uh, apply by October 21st uh, but November 6th is the like final cutoff <laughs> the curtain closes that's it okay and where will the exhibition be again so it's at the Renaissance Edmonton Airport Hotel so it's a gorgeous new modern hotel which is connected to our airport and yeah the number of pilots even coming through even during our opening reception it's so cool the amount of eye eyeballs that get on Onto this work. It's awesome. Okay, well, can't wait to see what sort of photos make it into the exhibition this year. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Alexis Marie Chute is the curator of the 2020 In Focus Photo Exhibit and Awards. The call for submissions is open now. You can get more information at infocusphoto.ca.